what's up welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new today I'm doing a college day in my life at 9 15 I have a meeting with my AMP lab professor we're learning about the structure and function of the heart this week and I just have some questions because I totally get like the whole concept of the heart we had to do like the blood flow through the heart and learn all of the different parts of it but what I don't get is like how the electricity flows through the heart and what part that has in the heart functioning like I don't know it's really confusing there's like repolarization depolarization there's ion channels and it's just like something that I just can't wrap my head around so I'm starting off the semester strong and I'm going to see my professor so I do not want to get behind I do have our first quiz next week and I just want to make sure that I know everything and I have a few hours until my first class at 1 30 which is college algebra today so I'm probably just going to go to Starbucks and just get some work done in there I feel like it would be a nice little environment they just recently redid the Starbucks on my campus so I've been really dying to go in there and check it out and then I get out of college algebra at 2 45 I may or may not stay on campus for a little bit depending on how I'm feeling I did get a lot of sleep last night so I don't really have any excuse but I just I don't know we're gonna feel it out I may come home go to the gym and then come back to my house and get work done tonight or I might just stay on campus knock it out then go to the gym and then just kind of be done for the night later that's the plan for today so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me these videos seem to be really popular I think people just love seeing what other people do in terms of college and if you don't already know I'm a pre PA major at Florida Gulf Coast University but this semester is honestly like the most prepared I have ever been I want to show you guys my planner and how I'm organizing things so this is the day design by Blue Sky. Um, I got this because I really feel like I needed something with to-do lists and enough room to like time block a little bit. Not like the whole day, but you'll see how I do it. Here we go. This is like kind of what my week looks like. So I just like put the classes um, and then like what I'm posting and like to-do lists and stuff like that. And then over here in the monthly view, oops, I did like a little um, key so basically my classes are color-coded and my work schedule and then I just have it like laid out like this so I'll show you guys September is completely ready to go and I just think this is awesome it's just gonna be so nice and organized because I don't have to write out like anatomy and physiology quiz number six I just know quiz number six is in blue so it's for anatomy it's just like so so organized and it's gonna help me so much this semester I've really never been this organized before I came to Target really quick because this is gonna sound ridiculous right now I'm using two different brands of highlighters for my notes and it's bothering me because the tip isn't like the same size so when I like highlight over my due dates and stuff it looks different depending on the color so I'm going to get the eight pack of the Sharpie Clearview ones which will have all the colors I need to like coordinate the way that I showed you guys so I don't have to use two different brands I'm a little crazy okay if anyone cares these are the highlighters that I'm talking about they are my favorite and I only have the three pack so I only had yellow pink and green um, but I needed like the blue so that I can do my AMP class because that's what color I made that one lab instructor and she explained everything to me I'm so glad that I went she's like one of those professors that really wants to see you do well and she'll just tell you like you can do this she's like your cheerleader and I love that I need that encouragement right now then I went to college algebra which was really rough today because there were so many concepts that I just don't remember like imaginary numbers and square roots and all of that stuff fractions inside of equations and foiling and all of that I mean 
just like concepts that I have no memory of. So I definitely am gonna need to go to tutoring and get some extra help with all that. But I spent three hours at the library just nonstop studying and note taking, watching videos on Khan Academy for anatomy and physiology. So I felt like after class, I just wanted to come straight home. But next week after classes, I'll probably end up going to the tutoring lab like every day because I'm just gonna end up needing help. I'm accepting that this is not gonna be easy for me. Like math has never been easy for me, but I really need to do well. So I'm gonna have to just put in the extra time. There's no way around it. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside and have some lunch and I will catch up with you guys soon. I'm gonna take like a little break for a while and then we will get back to it. So I ate lunch. Now I'm just laying here playing on my phone. I feel so tired. This is always how I get though, like in the afternoon. Usually somewhere between three and four, I start feeling super, super tired. So I think I am going to make a coffee because I honestly still have so much to do. We have to get over it. We have to just push through. I have a coffee now so there's really no excuse and I got a candle lit. I have my medical terminology class pulled up so I have like all these assignments to do. It looks like there's a chapter one timed test, a game that we have to do, a dynamic study module, and then a self-paced like study review questions. So I need to do all of that but before that I have to read through chapter one to make sure like I know the material obviously. So that's kind of what I'm doing, but I have a blanket and I'm just like getting comfy right now because it's about to start thunderstorming. So I thought this would be a nice little like chill study sesh. I just had to email my professor because I have been doing all of the chapter one assignments for medical terminology and one of them is like a self-paced study and I clicked through all of it because it was literally everything I had just read in the book. I was just trying to get to the questions and I somehow clicked over the little check your knowledge things and I end up getting to the end of the module and it gave me a zero percent. So I'm really hoping that she's going to unlock it again so that I can do it because that was not my fault. This is my first time using this platform by Pearson called My Lab, so it's not like I knew that there were like little check your knowledge points. I thought like the questions were gonna be at the end of the module. We're really off to a great start. Had to put my glasses on because my eyes were bothering me so bad. And now I'm about to find some nice study music because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like tired, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Instrumental study? No. Intense study. I kinda like this. Okay, I have to do 58 questions. I ventured into my office now and I'm back to note taking for anatomy. I'm almost finished chapter 18 and then we start chapter 19 on Monday so I have to do all of those notes before Monday. I just feel like this class is so much work which I totally know like yeah it's gonna be a lot of work but when you go from like doing nothing to this it's <sighs> alarming. I was supposed to go to the gym today and do arms and abs but then I got home and I knew that I had like more work to do like I haven't even touched anything for college algebra yet like I have four sections of college algebra homework to do and I haven't even touched it. The gym just isn't gonna happen there's just like not enough time for me today and I thought about going after dinner but Chad's making dinner right now and it's already seven and like we haven't even eaten yet. I can't do everything, okay? I'm trying to just like accept that. If I can get, I feel like with this school schedule and with my work schedule, it's not realistic for me to go to the gym every day. So I need to stop like making that a priority because it just can't be right now. So I'm just trying to come to terms with like what is important and what I can actually fit in my day. Not saying that I'm not gonna go to the gym because like I have to go to the gym. That's like my source of stress relief. But I have to stop like setting myself up for failure. I feel like I tell myself like, you'll go to the gym, you'll do this, this day, this, this day. And then like I forget that like you had two classes today and all this homework and you know, like it doesn't always work out. So I think I'm gonna start making it my goal to go four times a week instead of every day. Because all summer long, like I literally worked out every day, maybe like one break day a week. Um, I would do weight training like three or four days and then the other days were always cardio, but I was 
always in the gym and I was so proud of that so it's kind of hard to like cut back but I just can't fit it in my schedule right now and that is me just being real with you guys for a second not to be like negative or anything because honestly like I'm really proud of myself I'm hitting the ground running this semester we got this yes but i am gonna end the vlog here because i am about to eat dinner soon chad's grilling hamburgers for us and so i'm gonna eat dinner probably finish up chapter 18 notes and then go to bed because i'm exhausted but if you guys are not already be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video